Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to part two of my clean and undecorate with me. Today I'm focusing on the downstairs of our home where the majority of our Christmas decorations are. We're going to be getting them all put away and cleaning the house as we go, doing some deep cleaning. There's floors to be vacuumed and mopped, gifts that still need to find a home and just so much to clean. So I hope this video really motivates you guys to clean as well and I wanted to say a very happy new year to you guys let's hope that 2021 is much brighter than 2020 was but I hope you guys all had a lovely festive period and as much as I love my decorations there is something so nice about putting it all away and having a fresh start and today it is very much a trashed house so let me show you a before so this is our beautiful kitchen we've got some laundry need to do loads of stuff out on the side from breakfast and just general mess then i've also got to take down the hot chocolate station we will miss it um, but it's been up there for quite a while now so it'll be nice to have this space back then we've also just got general gifts out on the side this was a spice set matt got some toys for the kids that still haven't found a place and then we've also got some bits over here as well and then this is our main living area we have got loads of toys out obviously we've got the garden to come down a tree over there there's some festive pillows and things and just everything needs a really good clean I need to put this back into the playroom and we actually got a new lego table for christmas so i need to put all of that lego into the new one because this one is very broken then in our conservatory i still have bits out for the table there's toys out there's some lego over there gym mat over here so this also just needs a general clean vacuum mop all of that and then in our front room we just need to take this christmas tree down general tidy again so sad we still have some gifts under the tree for family that we haven't been able to see need to put the wrapping paper bag away and then there's just a few little christmas bits and all of matt's christmas presents there okay so first off i'm gonna start out in our main living area this is the biggest disaster zone at the moment and two of the boys are actually playing upstairs so it's a good opportunity to start cleaning this room so i'm just gonna put a few of the decorations away like this little fairy light tree i bought this years ago from cox and cox um, and it comes out every year also going to put away that vase full of baubles and this little snow globe and then I don't know if this happens to anyone else but as I'm undecorating I'll notice things that are dirty so today's clean actually turned out to be a bit of a deep clean as well um, because then I noticed that the windowsill was dusty so I need to dust that then I noticed that the windows themselves were a bit dirty so we needed to clean that we ended up pulling out all the couches vacuuming mopping under them like deep cleaning the stove as well um, so hopefully this will give you loads of motivation matt also gets involved in the clean today as well um, and yeah there's just i suppose everyone has this like aftermath after christmas we have had a few lovely days of really not doing much except for playing with our toys and like just hanging out at home so it's been lovely but you know it does feel really good to have that fresh start so now i'm going to transfer all of the lego from their old lego table into the new um table i love their old lego table i got it on amazon and it's been amazing but one of the panels has broken and it's actually quite sharp at the moment and they basically needed a new lego table and they needed a new little table because it was a bit damaged as well. Um, so I thought I'll kill two birds with one stone and get a new table that also you can play Lego on. So the top on it is, um, you can flip it over so it's just a normal table and you can flip it back and it has the Lego bit on it so you can build on it as well. So, so far so good, um, it's working really well for us. Um, then all the boys ended up coming into that main living area so I decided to start on the conservatory and Matt is going to help me as well. So there's a few decorations on the roof that I'm taking down, just some paper stars that Fraser made. And then like there's like the Gravitrax game out on the table. 
all of those fluffy throws I'm going to put away, but I'm not going to put them so far away like the Christmas decks because we may want to get them out again if we can ever entertain again. Um, there's also some Lego out on the side. This is a Harry Potter Lego that Caleb got for Christmas. So what we do with Lego is break it all down and putting it into a Ziploc bag with the instructions so that they can make it again. That's the only thing with Lego. Like sometimes they'll make something once. So I found if I actually put it away with the instructions, break it all down, they'll be more likely to build it again. Or maybe Caleb did it last time. Maybe Fraser would do it next time. Now I'm just gonna wipe down all of the surfaces in the conservatory. I'm also going to put away our lovely Christmas centerpiece. Unfortunately, we didn't get to host this year because of the pandemic, but luckily it's artificial, so we will get it back out next year. I'm actually going to store it in bubble wrap and put it away so we can use it year after year. Then I'm also going to put his gymnastics bar outside. He has been using it quite a bit, but now that he has a new gym mat, he's actually been using that more, so this can go back outside. And I'm also going to clean up all of the like table setting pieces that are out in the conservatory like the serviettes and the gold charger plates and the tablecloth I'm gonna put them all away so that we can use them again next year and then I'm also gonna vacuum this room and mop it as well la, 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 la. So now Matt is going to start on our kitchen. I've actually taken the boys out onto the trampoline and he is going to clean this. It's a complete mess. There's just dishes everywhere. Um, our oven top needs a good wipe down. And one of the sides has really become a dumping ground for like gifts that don't have a home yet. So some just need to go up into the boys' rooms or join the board games or go into the playroom. So we're going to sort through all of that as well. He's putting away a Christmas candle there just sorting out the bread bin giving everything a good wipe down because we have just been that little bit more lazy in the last few days so he's gonna give it all a good clean and then I think I'm gonna join him and just put away the hot chocolate station <laughs> We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Oh, watch me Blowing up a thumb 
Babes wonder what they really mean, yeah In the empty body lines of the answers Write down all your memories Feel the things you wanna feel, yeah In the empty body lines of the answers Oh, watch me Dancing in the colors, lightning Blowing up a thunder, wash it over me We got everything we need, right? Watch me Okay, so now I'm gonna put away the hot chocolate station. This is the first year we've had one and they've really loved having it. They were actually not impressed when they saw me taking it down. Obviously they can have hot chocolate normally, but they've loved like having all the bits out. Um, so I'm just gonna put away all the little signs and the Christmassy spoons and the Christmassy jars. I will keep the tray um, close to us because if we are allowed to ever have parties and stuff again, that will be really handy to put stuff on. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put it away, but it is something that I will be doing again next year because they've enjoyed it so much. But it will actually be really nice to have this surface space again in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna put one of our artificial um, flower arrangements onto it. Um, and yeah, it'd just be handy, you know, like to write to-do lists and just to be able to prepare stuff on it'll be nice to like have this clean space again so now all that's left to do in the kitchen is to vacuum and mop it and then I think I'm gonna move on to um, the main living area again and taking down the tree and taking down the garland <music> Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see So now I'm going to move Jackson's cafe into his playroom. A really good thing about this is that it's on wheels, so it's really easy to move from room to room. And I've had a few questions about where it's from. I actually got it secondhand from my friend, but originally it was from the great little trading company, so you can get it from there. Um, but now I'm going to put away these little wooden reindeers. We got them new this year from Next. And taking them apart was actually way harder than putting them together. Um, but I got there in the end and I saved all the original boxes so that I could put them away. Um, and I had a suggestion from someone to say, uh, maybe spray it gold. And I love that idea. So I might actually do that next Christmas, depending on what the new house is looking like. We're really hoping that our building work can start in the summer and that the back area of this house will be transformed and look completely different. So obviously I'll have to like reassess when it's all done. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed we can get going in like spring, summertime, depending on planning and like all of that. Now I'm gonna take down our Christmas tree. I have these really handy storage boxes that I bought on Amazon so that you can safely put your baubles in that. I put all of our favorite, like really treasured family baubles into that. And then the other like unbreakable red ones that we've had for ages, um, I tend to just put in a normal box or even in a bag because um, they're really hard wearing. But there are some ornaments on the tree that are just very precious. Like we have um, glass ones that are like the boys first Christmas decorations. Um, we've got like photo ones. So I really do want to keep them safe. And we've had those storage boxes for a couple of years now and they're working really well. And you would have seen, I took the garland down off of our fireplace, put that back into its original box. And then when I'm boxing things up, I'm actually putting them by the front door. And then Matt has the lovely job of taking all of those boxes out to our garage and putting them away. We're really lucky 
lucky in our new house we've got loads more storage and our garage actually has a little loft in it so we're actually storing our Christmas decorations in the garage loft so it's his lovely job to do that um, poor Matt I haven't filmed that either so there's not even you can't even see him doing that um, but yeah I'm just gonna keep carrying on undecorating and then I'm gonna tackle the lights and every year I always do the same hack of using an old like gift wrapping roll to like put the like lights around so that they don't get tangled up and then I'm also going to break down the tree itself luckily this one comes in like three pieces so it's not too tricky to break down so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to tackle our couch area quiet voices in the night time is running out of sight the lonely wind is passing by it tries to carry all the whispers that it finds the walls are listening when we talk making echoes as we walk going to sort out our couch area and also put away any festive cushions that we have. I'm going to store them away in a box for next year. I'm actually going to leave that red throw though because the boys love having blankets when they come down in the morning and although those cushions and that throw are a bit festive they don't actually say Merry Christmas or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just dusting down the couch and as I was doing this, I got a bit carried away, ended up pulling out all the couches, finding loads of toys underneath. There were Scrabble pieces, Shopkins Lego. So then I needed to tidy up all of the toys, vacuum and mop under there. But honestly, it was very, very needed. Um, but yeah, we've had these couches forever and I feel that they probably do need replacing. There are marks all over them. We've had them um, throughout having all of our children that when they were young um, but obviously when we do the building work and depending on interior choices um, we're gonna wait to choose a new couch then so you know it does the job for now but if you look at our couch and think that's probably had it <laughs> I agree <laughs> but um, yeah I think we're just gonna wait and it's fine and Jackson's still only four so you know, he's still a little bit messy. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna vacuum and mop this entire room. And then I'm gonna move on to one more room. There is still our front room to undecorate. There is a tree in there and also needs a good tidy as well. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly. Real 
Okay, so now I'm on to undecorating our pink and white tree and then we're nearly all done. The only decoration that I'm gonna leave up is our front porch decorations. If you haven't seen that, it is on my Instagram if you're interested, but it's so beautiful and wintry that I think I can get away with leaving them up until the end of January. I just love them. Whenever we pull up to the house, it just looks so nice that I wanna keep them up for a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I would also be so interested to know from you guys in the comments if you like these longer cleaning videos or if you would prefer like 10 minute cleaning videos. I suppose it depends how you watch it, if you watch it on your TV or if you watch it on your phone. Um, but I'd be really interested for your feedback because I could obviously do it either way. Um, but now I'm gonna also put away all of our Santa's grotto photos. This is the one from this year, um, but we have one every year. We have done for eight years now and it's actually such a nice record of the boys growing up and also our family growing in the first one um fraser was only like two years old and i think caleb was like a newborn um so they're really special to have um i'm also going to put away my gift wrapping bag it's a little bit of a mess after the festive period i'm, I'm just gonna like shove some of the ribbons in and some christmas cards that i can use again next year and then um, zip it up and put that away. This is so handy to have though, because whenever I do gift wrapping in the evening, I can just grab that bag and it has everything that I need in it. I'm also gonna give it a wipe down and then put away a few last little Christmas decorations like these wired trees. And then I'm also gonna wipe down our fireplace. It's got really dusty and we have some little lanterns that sit on the fireplace. So I'm gonna move those, wipe it all down with a granite cleaner because I think that this is granite and it makes it shine really nicely. Um, and then I'm gonna put all of the lanterns back. Um, but in this room, we pretty much just love it. So we're only gonna be changing it a tiny bit. We might change the paint, um, add a bit more furniture, but pretty much we really like this room as like an adult sitting room or like a second sitting room. Then I'm gonna put away um, these presents for friends that we haven't been able to see. I don't know whether we should do like some porch drawers so that they have them um, or if we should just wait to see people again but we just don't know when that will be and I also put away our little Christmas skirt and then I actually had to get Matt in to help me break down the Christmas tree I wish I had filmed it but for ages I was trying to get the lights off of this tree and then I remembered that this is a pre-lit tree so the lights are like not gonna come off. Um, so anyway, I got Matt to come in and break this one down and he's just putting that away. And then the only thing that's left to do is vacuum and mop this room. And I feel like because I've shown um, the vacuum and mop so much, I should tell you what I use. So this is a Dyson V8 and I love it. I use it almost every day. The only problem is that the battery only lasts for like 20 minutes. So like then it just ran out. So I went and got our shark, um, which plugs in. So that is also really good. Um, and the mop, I go on and on and on about this mop, but I love it. I've had it for years. It's just amazing. It's just an Addis mop that I got on Amazon. And you can buy the heads, like the changeable little heads, um, but you can fill it up with the like floor cleaning solution. And then as you're mopping, you just spray it out. It's like the quickest thing. And yeah, I just really love having it. So I thought, that I would mention it again. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some inspiration and I hope you guys have um, a happy new year. Fresh start in 2021. It's like a brand new page and I'm excited for the future. I'm excited there's a vaccine and that we can all look forward to a bit more normality and seeing friends and family again, maybe a holiday again. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.